I'll just fix it up the motor. You may have heard if you've been looking at my blog that um, I burnt out the brushes on my motor. I'd left them too long without checking them. And I've been running regen and they're basically burnt out. So um, I've had the motor apart. I've got a rotor here on the bench now. And um, the rotor's been skimmed on a lathe. And I'm now going to cut all the grooves in it. I've started doing this. I started doing it with a hacksaw blade. And it was hard work and my fingers were really sore from doing that. So I took a screwdriver and put it on my bench grinder. And uh, the result is I've now got a tool for cutting the grooves in the commutator. Uh, just gently tap it along with a hammer. And then uh, use it like a file and just gouge the grooves out. It's cut just to the right size so that the uh, grooves are nice and uniform. And uh, I use a paint scraper as well. So um, what I'm going to do now is just spin the camera around and uh, point it at the commutator and show you how I clear out one of the tracks on it. So this is the tool. This is what I've been talking about. It's just a screwdriver. You can see the bit along the top there is just the right width to be cutting into the commutator and clearing out these group these channels. This is one I've just done and I'm going to show you how I'll do another one. What I used before was a hacksaw blade like this. And you see this just goes along the channel like that and you just drag it out. Like. <coughs> now that takes absolutely ages to do it that way. Doing it with this you just do that and that's the whole channel done. And that's not really fair because that, that one was already done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a fresh one. This one here you can see this copper. It's completely overlapped where the <coughs> laver skimmed the surface. So I'm just going to pick the edge off first. Give myself a little start now. Turn it upside down. Just dig a little bit out. There we go. <coughs> So now I've got a start on it, I can just gently tap it along with a hammer. That pulls the copper out of the groove. So the copper's coming out of the groove now. As it lifts up though, it folds over. So once I've gone all the way along, I'll go along with my paint scrap and just rip off that bit that's folded over. Now where I've got to the end here, you can see this bit here is just where the uh, the lathers undercut the commutator. That's about how much it was worn when it was uh, scored. So I'm going to push quite hard now and just hook that last little bit out. Do that a few times. And that just make sure we've got nothing in there that's going to show across. Now I'll take the paint scraper. Right there you can see it's cut. Now that's just the, the first cut, which is a rough cut with a hammer. I'm going in for the second one, which I'm going to do by hand. But like I say, you use the tool, just like a file. I've got stuck a little bit there. Look. And like magic, it all just comes out. <laughs> you might hear some cars going past in the background, so I'm doing this in my garage at home. 
fastest cars going up the street. Okay. Have a little burr on the edge there, so. Oops. Yeah, that should clear the bear. Let's have a little feel. Feels nice. And just as a final little check, let's just drag a hacksaw blade along it. And look at that, that's lovely. That's it. And the hacksaw blade's trimming a tiny bit out, but it's really not going to make any difference. <coughs> okay, sticking it upside down, putting it straight down. Just drag it through, make sure there's nothing stuck in there. That's it, it should be nice and clear now, and uh, hopefully we get no electrical circuit between the two segments. And then, just make sure you're wearing goggles when you blow that out. Or you get your copper in your eyes. Not good. So that's it, that's one channel dug. Um, so I've just got to recut the rest of them. I've done about half of it so far. You can see it's been undercut quite a lot for it to drag across right across the <coughs> cutouts like that between the segments so I've got quite a lot of work to do however with my new tool my trusty modified screwdriver it should take a lot less time each one of these grooves was taking about 10 to 15 minutes to do a hacksaw blade they want to really get going on this I can do them in like a minute each so I'm looking at about an hour's work really to go around that. Quite hard but an hour's work all the same. And also the hacksaw blade, when you're dragging it back, let me just demonstrate. When you are dragging it back, sometimes it has a tendency to kind of slip off and you, you end up scratching across the surface of the segment which is not good. Once I've done all of these, I'll, I don't go around this with a... Ideally what I should do is put it up on a lathe and go over it with a piece of fine abrasive paper, memory cloth or something like that. Um, but I haven't got that, so I'm just going to get a bit of fine sandpaper and just literally go around it with my hand like that. And uh, that will smooth off any scratches and whatever that I've made with the paint scraper or the new tool. We should have a nice surface then. There's no burrs on it, I can feel very, very minor disturbances on the edges. So that should uh, work well with the new brushes. And then uh, hopefully I'll get my car up and running again soon.